Hello everyone. My name is Adil Hassan and I am a technical product manager at Casala. This video is about Casala's noise safe program for D-2 dosimeters. This is the first video out of the four in series and in this video we'll touch upon the basics that is how to connect your D-2 devices and how to download the results and what can you do with the results. So before you connect your device make sure that the docking station is powered up and connected to your PC where the provided USB cable and your D-2 is resting on the leftmost bay of your docking station. Now I've got a D-2 here on my desk. I will now try to connect a, uh, my device and try to view the results stored in it. So I can do that by clicking on this topmost button which will search for the connected devices. It has detected my device and if I click on this green patch or in any green patch which you can see here it will bring up and it will expand the menu and show you various options. So as you can see we have got uh, six runs uh, stored on this instrument and we can see very limited information here only the starting time and the finish time. So what we can do here is this the first thing which we should do is to right click here and uh, synchronize your device to clock with your PC so that there's an accuracy in the results time and date. Okay, and the next thing you can do that you can basically edit your device configuration by clicking this button. So you can make changes to your device configuration which you can do locally on the device but doing it here makes it more easy. I'm going to go back to the results stored on this instrument. So I'm going to select few results and try to download them. I can make multiple selections by pressing and holding the control key. Okay, and I'm going to download these selected results. All right, so once downloaded, they appear here in this tab uh, and the default name is data. You can obviously rename it by right clicking here and you can basically create a tree structure. For example, you can add subfolders to it. So I'm going to add a new folder here for my new employee, Chris, and then I'm going to associate a result which I think belongs to Chris so that it becomes easy for me to manage his data. I'm gonna transfer, I think result number six belongs to Chris. It's gonna go here. And once it is there, it will disappear from the main data folder, but it will instead appear here under Chris. Uh, I can delete these results. In fact, I can delete this entire folder by clicking here. And what I can do, if I think that there are some, if I've downloaded uh, some data which was previously on my software called Insight, and that's a Casala software, so I can import CSV file which I have uh, basically downloaded from Insight, and I can go here desktop. I have previously done that, so I've stored some data for Chris on my local machine import export so i can basically select any file and open it and it will populate the data under chris so i'm not gonna do it now what other thing which you can do here is that you can basically generate report you can straight away generate reports for the selected results or you can generate report for only chris by clicking here so generate report or you can view the report. You've got two options here, one second profile or one minute profile. If you've got a longer run, for example, you've got a run here, which is around 10 minutes, then use the one minute profile because it will look your data more neat, clean, tidy and easily readable. So we can see some results for Chris here. And again, multiple options here, which we can talk about in my next video. For now, I'm gonna go back to the downloaded results and you can see there there are there is in fact a lot of information available here so if you do not want to create a report or view a result it can also give you a snapshot of the information and one thing before i wrap up this video is that this data folder which you are looking here that is created locally on your pc or machine and uh, first time when you run noise safe it asks you to select a default location where you're going to store all your data and if you're not sure what your default location is you can find that out by clicking here on the settings button 
and it will show you the location for archived results later you can basically change this to your preferred location for example you can make the default location just your desktop so this short video was basically to tell you uh, how to connect the device and how to view the results in the next video we'll explore other options like what you can do with your downloaded results and what are the different options available to view the data and then the third video will talk about how to configuring how to configure your dbash2 devices and so on and i plan to make four videos and hopefully you have gained something from this video and take care until i see you again bye for now with international offices in the us india china and australia as well as a network of global distributors casella can provide the support you need wherever you are. Visit www.casellasolutions.com or email info at casellasolutions.com for more information.